Welcome back. Uh, we're going to do Actor Spokey, which is the talkback section of our movie night. We're going to chat with some folk who helped make it um, and uh, sort of break down what we were what we were just doing there. Um, so uh, I'm going to go around the table before we get uh, too far into it and, and have everybody introduce themselves and uh, how they were connected with the project this time. So I'm going to uh, start over with Mike. Hi, uh, I'm Mike Boozer. Uh, I am the uh, DM for this episode, uh, and uh, that's my role. Cool. Steve? Hello, Steve Conard here. You can see the name and what I do. My job is to translate Mike into English, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you did an admirable job. Also, uh, calling out, it is Steve's birthday today. So everybody... Oh, yeah. Yay, Happy birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. I'm not really 58. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to call out the age, man. You could have said anything wow. you wanted. I, 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 you know what? I, I'm I'm happy to wear it. Whatever. Good. Yeah, you, <laughs> you earned it. For sure. Um, going to hop over to Tanel. Hi, I'm Tanel Lovett. I'm the artist for World of Chaldea. And all these backgrounds, all the illustrations, all the backgrounds in the movie and the graphics and signs including the overlay for all of this <laughs> yeah, so. yeah in fact, it's graphics um, she does it yeah and marcus isn't even here he is a, an illustration that tanel did and entirely <laughs> it, like yeah. I, I i feel so lifelike you can't even yeah. tell like this is amazing tanel you you've really done yourself this time really amazing <laughs> Uh, yeah, my name is Marcus. Uh, I do a lot of stuff here at Chaldea, but uh, this time I was the surly barkeep of the episode. So I'm happy to be here and uh, we all get to watch this again. Yeah, that wasn't actually um, written into the script. Marcus just showed up on set that day and would not leave. Yeah, I was a little belligerent, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it worked out. Yeah, yeah. Just point the cameras at him. Yeah. It's probably fine. <laughs> Um, and uh, I'm I'm Sarah Moore, and I do a lot of things in Chaldea, but for this particular one, uh, I was my uh, recurring role of Beatrice the Sword, who just will not stop talking. <laughs> the best. Um, so uh, I one of the questions I have about tonight. Now, so normally we have uh, our season, our series are usually six cycles we have much longer time to be able to tell a story um mike how is it for you to have to adjust to a single session um yeah you know it, it's it's uh it's a one-off so you kind of have to make it sing and uh have a punchline at the end and make it look you know good for it, uh for it but it it i think we're lucky in that we have uh we have a, a through story with beatrice and trying to find Bo, the Bo, um, that was going on in uh, the previous um, uh, six episodes and kind of that carried through. So it seemed pretty obvious to try to try and, uh, and get that going with them. Um, so, so that was, it was, it was pretty easy to do. Um, just wanted to make sure it, it's a one-off. So it wanted to make sure it just, it standed on its own. Yeah. And if anyone could get up to mischief, it's that whole crew of, of yes. uh, people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you almost don't have to do too much with that group of role players. You just kind of like <laughs> gently yeah, just... place a scenario in front of them and then just like slide back out of the way and it'll Yeah. Yeah, they find a way. They find a way to get themselves in trouble. It's really good. As a DM, that's awesome. When you when you find a way to like really cause your own problems, then it's it's really nice. Yeah. Um so Steve, uh I I heard that perhaps your script was a touch too long when you originally drafted it well which is almost always the case the interesting thing this time was there was a lot of role playing there was there was no fighting and yeah. fighting takes up well everybody who plays dnd knows it you know dice rolling and moving figs and all this sort of stuff takes a long time and so we cut that section of the fighting down into a script to very very quick so this was actually wall-to-wall -wall role playing so when i got the <laughs> I get the video and I, I translate it into text. And anyway, I look at it and go, oh my God, this is this is really long. Yeah. And there's a lot of goodness in there. I always try to mine the, the, the little morsels of goodness. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm really going to have to. I mean, Megan shape changed four times 
in the RPG session. She, yeah. she started off as a, a cat and then she went outside and came in as a, as a little child, you know, as a homeless kid and then got kicked out and then came back in as a warrior gal and then left. And when they went to the green was a dog. And so I put two of them in and ain't even having had to cut that down, but uh, um, yeah. So yeah, it, 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 this one was longer and Peter was like, yeah, too long. <laughs> too um, much. Well, you know, I mean, the thing is, you know, we do, we always say it's the actual way we got to do everything fast. Well, you know, we, we have to film everything in one night. Yeah. You know, people who do filming, you know, they do it over weeks or months, even, uh, you know, one night, you know, we have like three hours and Peter's like, oh my God. It, yeah. It four well, hours the, last night. the conventional wisdom when you are shooting a script is that it's um, like one minute of screen time per hour of shooting. Um, and that's just like, not the case <laughs> for us <laughs> because it's, well, the, how long was the script? 23 pages, 24 pages. Well, 22. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that should have taken us many, many hours, about, about 20, about 20 hours to shoot, 22 hours to shoot. And we had, you know, three. So we crank tell you what yeah, yeah. i mean everything we do oh, is we fast. Sure do. fast we sure fast, do. fast run and gun <laughs> you know i i heard years ago that like, like the ups guys the reason why they're so fast is they're not allowed to look behind them when they when they go <laughs> always that could always be a live sale i don't know always if that's true forward. or not so i i love that i want to... i want that in the handbook like i need to see that i want it i love this idea they cannot look up behind them that is you can't behind. look behind you you've always got to be going and that's kind of how i feel on everything that we do on this it's just we're just going, you know. So. Yeah. Um, Tanel, did you have any art pieces that you really loved from this particular one, or that gave you trouble? Either is a good, good question. I really enjoyed drawing the supers because they were very eclectic group. They just kind of had a little, you know, a, when you think of cleric, you don't think of a priestess of set. You know, the um, barbarian having a giant snake and it was it was really fun to draw all those characters together and i tried to give it like this really fun um i'm blanking on the movie you know the explosion behind and the crew walking forward stereotype every every action movie ever armageddon, yeah yeah the armageddon oh yeah i don't get absolutely right? yeah. yeah yeah talk uh, about so the wrong just, stuff you know, they're so yeah. joyful, and then the contrast between that and then like the hateful shouting. Yeah, I love those designs. That they were, it was like you had to see a whole other adventuring party from another campaign that we didn't get to, uh, we didn't get to watch. But it was, yeah, that's that was a really cool thing coming out of the the video. I didn't see that. I didn't know that was coming before, but the movie just I mean, showed it off. There's always the possibility of there being another side quest where we get to meet those characters. Hmm. More work yeah, for Tanel love... and Steve, eh? <laughs> I love this evolution of, I guess, addition of side quests to Actor Oki because we do so many events. We do slam events. We do other events where it it's a one-off. And bringing that to kind of the series and a main storyline where, you know, Steve is writing and he's always dropping these little nuggets here and there of deeper storytelling so having the, and, or, you know, the DM is creating them <laughs> like, yeah. oh, my, my boyfriend, Bo. <laughs> and, you know, having those little really fun nuggets that the players latch on to and creating an avenue for that to become something more from time to time, I think is a really interesting direction that actor Oki has, you know, gone. Yeah, for sure. Marcus. If, oh, go ahead. Yes. Just, you have played several different characters yes. throughout. I just want to know who your favorite is. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, I, I got to go with the vampire. <laughs> like I, I've, I've, I've enjoyed, yeah. I've enjoyed uh, um, the, 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 I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed all of my parts equally. I love them all like, like, like sons to me. Right, but, but, but it's your favorite kid, Marcus. Vrykolicus, <laughs> uh, only because I had a great time in the one time I got to play him, and I and I can tell from the ending of that one that he's going to be coming up again probably some Maybe point he'll soon. Come back. So I am very, very happy and excited with my good friend Vrykolicus, who I'm sure, now that he's released, will cause no harm and no None. issues with whatever adventuring party uh -huh. yeah, he encounters. He seems like a really chill dude, and like, it's probably not... 
Yeah, just thirsty sometimes. That's all. Just like it's just a little. A little Everybody gets a little cranky when they're dehydrated. I know right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, what's interesting is this, this wasn't ever intended, I'm sure. And I know that, you know, Mike being the DM probably didn't intend this. Of course he didn't. The, uh, this is like a crossover episode yeah. uh, with, with the barbarians. So if anybody watched the three R the three RPGs uh, uh, of the barbarians which was our Christmas special. So we did the three, we did the three RPGs and we're in the process of doing a full length. If Peter was here, he'd be telling you rubbing his hands together going, Oh yes, we've got a Christmas special full it's length. It's coming. It's R- coming. Actor Oki film. I'm currently writing, but I, I actually switched back and forth between writing the two different scripts at the same time. And so Redarno is outside the Vim and Vigor in both, actually in both uh, uh, episodes. Anyway. Oh, that's cool. So, okay. And can we just call out how great Scott C. Brown was? Oh, <laughs> tonight, a, a, tr- tonight's episode. a trooper yeah. and a champ on set as just well. Just the best. Uh, like, yeah. like, well, and he always is wonderful oh, yeah. on set. Okay. Yeah, I, yes, I, I, I quite like him. Uh, and he plays a fairly large role uh, in the barbarians coming up. So yeah, I was never so happy to see. So we knew that when we were doing it for this episode, it was okay with the costuming and everything that we would, you know, that we always like to uh, reuse things a lot. So we knew that, you know, that yeah. Rodarno is going to be showing up again. Um, so the costume, you'll get to see his big grin there, which is a big cliffhanger or what. This At the so very good. end. Oh my gosh. And so the good. the wig looks great too. The wig looks <laughs> awesome. A lovely wig. Delightful. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I'm just wondering everybody's favorite moment of the, this is a Peter question. Everyone, he, every time he wants to know what people's favorite moment of the film was. Well, I had a, I had a particular answer from Peter that he would like me to share kind of about the episode. This might be Peter's answer. Peter's answer. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. Peter sent this to me and made sure that, uh, I got it, uh, For you guys, so here it is. This was a particularly fun episode to film and edit. The confrontation between Karna and Sersha was as close to an action sequence as we get to get in Actoroki. We don't always have the time to choreograph and rehearse fight scenes in the way we are there traditionally done in movies, so we always struggle with how to film fights in an interesting way. But having characters get pissed at each other and start yelling and acting like there's going to be a fight, that's something we can totally do. It was a Actoroki first and it was super fun and I'm really proud of how it turned out. Now that is uh, our fearless leader, yeah, Peter. For sure. Well, yeah, he he said the same thing to me, and um, I remember saying, "Well, yeah, you're right." Whenever they anybody has ever fought Sarah's season, you know, we always there's a flying shark in you know in, in one of your episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, we couldn't find it, a person to cast for uh, that, which was unfortunate because yeah, <laughs> we could have gotten <laughs> Love Shark or somebody to come in; it would have been funny, <laughs> but. Uh, Anyway, so we, we always cut to art. Whenever there's fighting, we cut to art. You know, somebody's getting eaten inside of a T-Rex mouth. You know, we cut to art. And, and so you're, he's right. We did never actually ever in actor Oki seen, you know, animosity by two different actors on the same, at the same time, which is, which is fun. Yeah. It lent a I lot mean, of good energy to the show or to the film. Yeah, we should, I would like good note for future DM sessions of like, just have people yell at each other a little bit. It's great on set, <laughs> like. Get into it. Have some words. Well, it's funny because almost the bartender turned into sort of this like angry New Yorker. Uh, yeah. And so <laughs> I guess maybe in the million spheres, uh, Earth is there somewhere and this this New Yorker got teleported in and yeah. was just angry at being in Graver's Dig, I guess. Anyway. So why am I here? <laughs> Not even from this universe. I also God. want to point out that I did have excellent product placement. If you saw, there was a Gen Con <laughs> mug Gen Con that mug. I was cleaning. I was like, if I got to clean a mug, I got to get that. that Eat sp- the Gen Con one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was well, pretty funny. It, Actually, that, I think my favorite scene is, well, in the role, in the RPG session, and it translated really well to the, to the, uh, to, uh, to Steve's script, is that they kept on doing things in the bar and the bartender kept calling him on and saying, you can't do that here. You can't turn <laughs> into something. You can't cast that spell. You can't do this, you know? So Steve yeah. has that sign, no. You know, spell spell craft. Craft. I so love that sign. That, that, that Take all it translated outside. really well. It was like, <laughs> yeah, and it was a classic thing for me. It was like the classic thing in D&D. Like you go into a bar, it's like, what can you do? It's like, yeah, you're probably not allowed to kill people in it or, mm-hmm. you know, cast spells or turn into other things or cause commotions. 
so that was that was, that was i feel of... like we should definitely get a print of that no spellcraft to hang up on the caldea set somewhere yes it should yeah. be on the wall that wouldn't make so a bad shirt either that, right yeah for sure yeah, that would make a great shirt with uh, Archibald and Andy. <laughs> we should, oh my gosh, what if we printed that shirt <laughs> next summer when it's too hot? He has to wear that shirt. <laughs> the one that yes. He has to wear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just have it on set all the time. Oh, he would love that so much. <laughs> I think my favorite line or moment um I don't know why this just keeps standing out to me because I mean there was a bunch of funny moments but this one just felt like I felt like I put myself in that moment because I it was such a mood um is when uh Saoirse sitting on I think it was sitting on the couch it happened a couple times but the first time when you know she's just caught off guard and when she's supposed to respond and and instead of some sort of long witty response it's just what anyone would do it's just uh, <laughs> yeah. and that was uh, Lexi. Like, yeah. that i relate so much the, the funny thing about that though and that's great because it, it, the same so she so she played the character and she played then she did the actor Oki. And that's exactly what she did in the role play session because she got caught. <laughs> she got caught in the logic thing with it. It was like, yeah, but you just told us, you just told me that, and she goes. Uh, I mean, who yeah. hasn't been there? Who hasn't yeah. been in that? <laughs> moment? Exactly. I mean, exactly. Shoot. I'm so glad that the like, that carried through all yeah. the way because it, it was such a moment. Yeah. For sure. Well, so speaking of that, we need to, I think it's also an actor. Okay, first, somebody correct me if I got this wrong, but so Lexi, the first, uh, is the role player, and then she also is the the talent, the oh, actress yeah. in this particular. I don't think anybody's done that. So, fun. so it's funny, she got to channel, I, I, I was, I found it interesting, she was channeling herself. Yeah, uh, I yeah. did it, uh, Um, I did it in a slam. Where I played the RPG character, and then I played. Oh, okay. I think I think Javion might have done it once, but it's very very rare in actor Roki to have the player do the same part. Do and the same part. Lexi player. just knocked it out of the park. Like that was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, Lexi, if you're listening, uh, Peter didn't. Yeah, he, he we said. We love you, well, Lexi. <laughs> yeah, well, he said it's like, oh yeah, uh, I would hire her to in any role. So yeah, uh, come back. You're super. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'm curious because I know that she talks to Anne, so I wonder if she talked to Anne a bit about the character at all. Because like they mesh so well on Sersha. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and we'll never know until Lexi tells us in the chat or text okay, me later. Lexi, keep your secrets. Thank you, <laughs> Anne. Right. She'll tell me later, and then I will tell everyone in this call. But the audience won't know because I can't call everybody individually. <laughs> I can try though. I'll see who else is in the chat and I'll contact you all with the information. Don't uh, worry. I would love to give a little bit of a shout out uh, to some cool people who were in our little episode today. Please uh, do. So uh, when, when we have some overlapping voice dialogue lines, we reach out uh, and, and you know try to find some actors to, or usually just people we know to uh, give a, a spare line or two. Uh, this episode featured the voice acting talents of AJ Ray, Darby Pack, uh, Alisa Melendez, as well as Ju our, our Just Tech Moon and uh, Sarah Krause from Roll with Rem Alternus on Thursdays. Oh, wow. So we had a bunch of really cool people involved in a very small way in this week's uh, this week's movie. So I just wanted that's to make sure so that they got cool. their shout out. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. That's yeah. that's awesome. That's cool. that's the other thing is like the shouting and the voices in this episode. I think more than any other, like everything just lined up and it like the the audio felt like it really felt like the town was full of people, even though, you know, because of the technical difficulty of like, you know, we can't have a crowd of people walk by in a s tiny studio in a tiny amount of time. Right. And, but it, it didn't feel to, to me, it didn't feel empty. Like the, the audio definitely pulled through and carried the weight of that. Well, Peter would be very happy to hear that. So mm -hmm. today we were having a conversation in one of our production meetings and he was like going, so uh, 
audio is the sort of his, the last thing that he has to master. He's like, I got to do better. I've been trying to do better. I've been doing this and this and this. He's like, but he does all the editing. I don't know. Hello, people. Like he, he does it all. I mean, I, I'll, Tina will make stuff or whatever, and I'll make stuff. But I just toss over the fence. He's got to mix it all together. Uh, he's like, you know, and uh, so the audio is the one that he's been uh, working on a lot lately. So he, that would make him uh, feel really good hearing that, you you know, you like the, the audio is getting better. And the audio is definitely getting better. If everybody remembers back to like series one when we were doing on Zoom and it was just, yeah, not good. Anyway, well, we had fun. I mean, we're, it's it, every, <laughs> you know, every time we do something, I feel like we're able to upgrade some piece of it. You know, we're, this is obviously a learning experience for us. A, we're, it's an art form that we're kind of making up as we go along. So um, we're, we're figuring it out. And I, I feel like, you know, every time we come out, we, we put up a, a stronger showing. So it's exciting because uh, next week we're going to have a, the start of another. another side side. Oh no, that's run right. by DM'd by our very own Peter Atkinson. Um, so I, I, I can't wait to see, you know, what wild piece he tries to shoot. <laughs> Shoehorn into well, it. Well, we'll also see. I'm going to uh, be one of the players that week, so we're going to oh, see what snap. happens because you haven't dealt with me in your world yet. Oh. Oh, so I get to translate you into oh, into yeah, you, script form. You, you get the okay. absolute uh, uh, pleasure oh. slash torture of, of doing that. Yeah. Chaos. So, Chaos. so the reason why and, and, I mean, people may not realize why what we're do, we're doing side quests through the holiday season. Uh, Peter had came up with this idea like a year ago or something where he wanted to invite back the barbarians for a Christmas special because in during the COVID thing, um, our series one, everybody, all the players and the actors did everything via zoom. And he's like, they never had the, they never had the joy of coming together and playing around a table and the actors didn't come into the studio. And he, he wanted to give everybody that chance. And so we couldn't fit in. We want to get to series four, but we couldn't figure out how to get that fit in while doing the special Christmas. So we're doing three side quests. We did the, uh, the, the nearly departed, which is the first side quest. Peter's doing another side quest next week, which will be for the next three weeks. It's called, uh, uh, let the hunters hunt. Peter loves the whole Samarian hunt. So he's going back to the series one thing where he's going to have a hunting party. And, uh, I don't think I've given away too much there. And then Sarah's running the next side quest, right? Uh, around Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't remember the date. It's, it's on actorogi.com. All the dates are there. Uh, anyway. My side quest is on December 7th. Okay, there you go. And I only know because I will be in Seattle, and so I know when I'm traveling. Ta-da! <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Um, yeah, I, and I don't know what I'm going to do for it yet, but oh, who knows? It's going to be a surprise for everybody. I'm going to show up, and I'm going to sprinkle some things out on the table for the players. And but then it they're does, probably going to grabby hands at something. But it does uh, feature uh, Ariadne, the return of Ariadne's artisans. Is that correct? Uh, well, minus the one that I did kill during the oh, season. That you personally murdered. That she murdered. You're a killer DM. Okay, yeah. Play, she, played let it be known. by She's... Lexi. Listen, I we had we discussed this. Like, I look like <laughs> real nice, but I am the only Hector Oki DM who has had PC kill. Had PC kill. <laughs> <laughs> to be so, fair, wow. that was kind of one of my favorite illustrations I've ever done. Oh, that, it's that good. Rolled. So good. It was a wonderful story moment. It and was. it's it gives us an option to revisit some things. Lexi is going to be playing again, but will not be playing that character. Badia will not be back. That character I don't know who, who she's you playing. You, 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 I I'll kill I'll gone. kill whoever Lexi is playing. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. Oh my gosh! Huh. You just start Are you just gonna start taking them out every fun. game? So maybe. <laughs> Maybe I should just kill Lexi's character next time. No, no. Just, you poor know Le what? Poor Lexi. She's going to be like, what? <laughs> well, you just start putting a red shirt on Lexi. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lexi. We love you. We love you. <laughs> you die, die so well. So, you know, when you do something, just here's the it. thing. If you don't want to ever do anything, if you don't want to do it, you do it poorly. Right. That's <laughs> yeah. that's a truism, right? If you just suck at it, then you never get asked to do it again. But if you die really well, you know. <laughs> like you see in the movie tonight, Lexi adapts to all these different roles. And so yeah. I mean, if you're gonna kill someone. Great. <laughs> I can't 
I can't wait to tell her that we had a full fit, like 10 minute yeah. conversation. About... Well, you know what we could do is, do you remember the whole uh, Saturday Night uh, Live, uh, Mr. Bill? Oh, no, Mr. Oh, Bill. No. <laughs> yeah. We could do a, oh, no, Alexi, and we could kill Alexi off in a montage like nine different ways. Oh, my God. <laughs> great it would be for socials. Lexi leaving oh, montage. so good. <laughs> Lexi, we, we love and support you and we'll only oh. kill you in our games. We promise. And only with consent. I yes. did ask her beforehand if it was okay if, it is if, if we killed off her character and I got the it's thumbs up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that was a fun tangent we all went on. Yeah. <laughs> um, side, is, side quest. Uh, side quest well, for side our quest, yeah. actor for spooky our... side quest. Um, do we have, uh, is there anything anybody else would love to share about about this particular side quest before we wrap up for the evening? Well, um, I I did share in the RPG session, so I guess I can share now. Steve, uh, Peter gave me uh, permission that these uh, these characters are coming back in the movie. Oh, series four. In series four, four. in case in the January, the really big, yeah. in case the really big cliffhanger wasn't any sort of like yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> right, yeah, it was a big cliffhanger moment. So yeah, so I series would, four. I would like to give a side quest to the characters in series four to get Beatrice out of the sword. Ooh. That, that's uh that you know you never know i don't know are they gonna do that do they want you we'll i mean see. what happens if the sword and bow touch like that's what <gasps> i want to find Ooh. out what like, happens if the sword and bow touch that's is, it, is it like smooching smooching weapon kissing only the dm knows for sure well it's like that spell <laughs> the, there's like that classic fairy tale spell where the true love's like, first kiss uh, sure and it's like <laughs> But yeah. it's like, do you, do you remember what I'm talking about? Where there was like one's in one's a hawk, one's a wolf, or something. Oh yeah, like that's that. uh, that's uh, uh, Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk. Yeah, what? and and so like, there's like just that one moment of transition where they get to see each other as yeah, like, well, sundown, sunset, sun and sunrise. Yeah, you know, kind of like and that with their weapons, and like they finally get to like see each other if they touch. I don't know. Who knows? Like this. We'll it see. is would be an expensive proposition we're gonna figure it out <laughs> um who was uh hugh's voice oh that was the that was the um oh my god dylan dylan oh, yeah. dylan yes oh dylan yes yeah, dylan dylan did it on set for the script read and it was so funny so we were just like take it same so thing we're with just spitz. keeping you i think spitz was the same oh, yeah. thing in, uh, in the uh in the table read it was funny it's like oh yeah we need you to do it and he was on it and, oh by the way it needs to be french and he just went with his did it. Friend. Yeah. and we're like oh okay yeah yeah you're it well all right i guess you have gotten the job good job <laughs> yeah neat cool. even if oh. your character dies you might have an empty seat and you can play through the through line <laughs> yeah, so the last thing i think one of the last things uh, about act rookie is kind of interesting so mike said these uh, the players will be returning um the we're also going to be doing something new. We, we're finally starting to feel comfortable with what we're doing with Act Rookie. And we, when we initially started this, Peter goes, I don't know if this is going to work, man. Uh, we'll, we'll do it for six episodes. I don't, did he roll a die? Maybe he rolled a die. I don't even know what he did, how he came up with the number six, but we landed on six. And so then Sarah, the next time did six and then mm -hmm. suddenly six just became a thing. And um, so the thing is, when you do six, you're kind of limited, right? You're kind of like, mm -hmm. well, you have a beginning and end, and the bookends are very close together, and you know. So we decided, well, maybe in series four, we'll just, it's just going to go. It'll just go until the story is done. Until the story ends. I mean, the story may end on six, great, or, or five, yeah. or or maybe nine. I, I, yeah. I, you know, and we yeah. honestly have no idea. This is actually going to scare me more as a, as the writer, because, uh -oh. well, I I always say it all the time when I'm watching the game, like I I'm kind of half listening to the, to the to the story and i'm half trying to figure out oh my god how are we going to do that mm -hmm. um well like like megan constantly shape changing going okay you realize we don't have like hollywood money here right <laughs> come up with some uh, clever how way do we do i this? really like our little our little uh, sh uh shapeshift uh icon um 
anyway, because I think claw in, in the barbarians also likes to shape change. So we'll probably Correct. reuse that. But anyway, so I was just getting to the point where in series four, it's going to be, and, and the DM and the players will just go. Like, I don't mm-hmm. like, we'll, we'll see where they go. It, it's going to be an interesting run because I literally don't have a clue. Like, We're going to heaven. We're going to hell. I don't know. Well, well, uh, yeah. hopefully um, this was a, a great birthday present for you and not like a horrible present that we just gave you where we were like, ha ha, there's no set ending. You're welcome. Happy birthday. More work. Oh, I like job security. That's fine. Oh, great. <laughs> good. Good. True. Yeah. When Peter said, oh, we're just going to go. And I'm going to go, what do you mean? We're just going to, we're just going to, you're just going to DM and just go. Like, it's gonna go forever until well, we want to stop. And I go, great! I, great! great. great. <laughs> awesome! I love it. Let's do it. Fear, fear uh, of the players, though, knowing that. Oh too, yeah, though, well right? yeah. Those those players. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see. If I kill them all off by episode four, then we'll just have to start. Yes, I don't. Big okay. nuke goes off. We'll just everybody re-rolls <laughs> characters, and we just yeah. keep going, so and it'll be fine. Yeah. Great. Well, I think that we have done all of the spoilers we possibly can tonight. Um, Mm. And with that in mind, uh, if you would like to know more about the project, you can go to actoroki.com or worldofchaldea.com. And every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific, we will be here on twitch.tv slash GenCon TV streaming World of Chaldea's Actoroki. And um, as we discussed... Next week is another RPG session DM'd by Peter Ackeson. And uh, we're we're going back into Graver's Dig and we're going to get up to some hunting shenanigans. Um, so uh, I would like to thank everybody on the call for, for sticking around and, and chatting with us after the movie. I would like to thank everybody at home for watching. Um, we appreciate all of your interaction in chat. And, uh, you know, if there's more stuff that you want to see, you are welcome to contact us on all of our socials which are at world of chaldea uh anywhere you want to find us which is um currently facebook twitter instagram um we are we are around and we got we got a lot of more crazy stuff in store for you so don't forget to to check it out um yeah so uh i think i think that's all of it uh thank you to gen con tv for giving us this platform and um thank you to uh marcus who's you're pulling double duty today by running the stream and talking on the stream and being an actor previously recorded in the stream <laughs> and being a live illustration that Tanel love it did i guess wow. that's a multitudes. Is. yeah there we go. just like yeah it's amazing <laughs> marcus is all the way down um <laughs> all right so uh thanks for joining us and uh as always keep go making Hawks. art and keep being art we'll see you next time Bye. go hawks Go Hawks.